Hey, it's Tracy Andrews, real estate broker and investor. Uh, today's video is about renting versus owning in the long run. Uh, I recently had a conversation with someone about her friend that's renting a home in a certain part of LA. Uh, she's paying about 5,000 a month for rent. And uh, she says she likes to rent because she, does, she doesn't want to be tied down to a house and she doesn't want to, um, you know, she want to be able to like keep moving if, if she wants to. Uh, but here's the kicker about the story. Uh, this person has actually been in that same house for 10 years, paying uh, 5,000 a month. So I decided to do some simple math, um, you know, 12 months in a year. So 5,000 a month, that's 60,000 in a year. Uh, she happened to be in this property for 10 years. So in 10 years, that'd be 600,000. All right. So this is when the perspective comes in. All right. Now let's just say 10 years ago, she decided to purchase that same home. Um, at this point, uh, so 600,000, I would say her house would probably be paid off or, or, you know, close to paid off. So basically at that point, uh, you know, let's just say her, her home is paid off. She has a few options at that point. She can either, you know, just stay in the house and have no monthly payment, uh, you know, set for a property taxes and insurance, which can be paid annually. Uh, she can move out and rent another place and then rent out her place. So her place that she's renting out can actually pay for her new rent or she can uh, decide to sell her home and just cash out over a million dollars cash uh, because the you know if she's paying about five thousand a month then you know she is most likely in um, you know a pretty nice area so I would say that um, you know the house could be paid off at this point um, and you know there's also a bunch of tax benefits that come with home ownership so um, she would have been a lot better off in that situation in the long run now, I, I don't have anything against renting. Um, I do understand that there is a purpose for it, um, especially if you don't know where you're going to be in the next year or two. Um, but if you, you know, you're stable, you've been at the same job for a while and you think most likely you will be there for, you know, a fairly long time, you might want to think about, you know, purchasing a home. Um, anyway, uh, you know, that wraps up the video for today and I will be doing other videos soon and feel free to contact me with any questions.